Once it lost more than 140 million U.S. dollars in the three months to December. Its planes have been grounded since October, and the company still owes millions of dollars to banks and employees. Jet Airways' bottom line hasn't been faring much better. It's reportedly in advanced talks to sell a 24% stake to Etihad Airways. So can India's carriers turn themselves around? For more, we're joining our studios in Singapore by Shasam Nigam, CEO of Simply Flying. Shasam, thanks so much for joining us. It's not smooth than simply flying up where uh, India's carriers, there's a lot of turbulence. So how can they stabilize this over the next few years? I believe uh, foreign investment ruling that allows foreign carriers to invest up to 49% will certainly go a long way. For example, Jet Airways needs some money uh, for their new planes for really bolstering their business, and that might come in from Etihad. We've also heard SpiceJet is in talks with some fast-growing Asian budget carriers for investment, and that's going to be one critical factor. But they can only own 49%, these foreign investors. Do you think we are likely to see a reform uh, in, in the uh, partnership between uh, uh, local airlines and foreign investors within the foreign carriers? can have control and turn around the business. Well, I don't think that's coming soon because just the 49% control took a long time for the Indian government to announce. And so there's no not going to be a controlling stake. But I believe with up to 49%, Indian Airlines can do with the professional management of foreign airline, let's say a Singapore Airlines or an Etihad goes into invest, uh, that adds professional management and really helps them bolster their business over time. But the bottom line for these Indian carriers is that they have debt burdens and they have issues with their cost structuring. Yes, uh, certainly very high cost structure in India, operating in India, one because of the fuel taxes, that's one of the highest in the world that all of the carriers have to deal with. And uh, there's also just high labor costs, which tend to be unionized as well. So those are structural factors which will exist. Are we likely to see a consolidation in the uh, Indian uh, aviation industry over the next uh, few years? Will Kingfisher shut down eventually? Well, I do believe yes, uh, they, they will and they should be allowed to. It's just too much debt for even any foreign investor to take, to take on because if you take the Kingfisher and you put them against the Jet Airways or a Spice Jet, the latter two are much more attractive, attractive investments with planes in the air and possibly even profits. Shasank Nigam from Simply Flying. Great to have you with us on the Asian Business Report. Meanwhile, in other aviation news, Singapore Airlines will be unveiling its earnings numbers for its third quarter. The carrier, like its counterparts, have been dealing with fewer premium passengers and losses at its cargo unit. Singapore Agricultural Commission.